In China, a hotel that was being used as a coronavirus quarantine center has collapsed. 43 of the 70 people trapped have now been rescued from the debris, including an infant that was pulled from the rubble. This happened about 600 miles away from the city of Wuhan, which is the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak. Heavy search and rescue operations are underway, while 27 people remain unaccounted for. The spread of the coronavirus has some travelers questioning whether they should go through with the trips they have planned. That means travel agents are taking many of those calls. The owner of Pyramid Travel in Verona says about 10% of the calls she's getting lately have to do with the coronavirus. She's had one client whose trip to Italy later this month has been canceled by the tour company there. The CDC says widespread community transmission of the virus is why they're asking people to avoid non-essential travel there. This is impacting her business as some clients are interested in traveling there this summer. They're inquiring and we've almost had it booked, but they're just worried. So they're like, OK, we don't need to book it right now. I'll just wait to see how this all plays out. As you'll recall, UW-Madison has summoned its study abroad students back from Italy. The death toll in Italy is now more than 100.